Hi, I'm Anna. Thanks for joining us at your Griffles Donor Center. I'm here to talk about plasma donation. Did you know that there are millions of children and adults who need plasma products to stay alive? Your plasma makes a huge difference to our patients and their loved ones. We're proud of the amazing gift you'll be sharing, and you should be too. So what's this stuff called plasma and why do people have to have it? Well, your body contains about 12 pints of blood. And in the blood, there are red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets, all floating in this yellowish fluid called plasma. This plasma has proteins in it that flow through your body, helping you fight infections and control bleeding. However, some people are born with diseases where these processes are not normal. They depend on plasma donors like you to stay alive. Each time you donate, a portion of your plasma is collected in a bottle. And although the bottle seems big, in reality, it is mostly water. This is why it's important that you eat well and are well hydrated. And it's also why it takes around 10 donations or more to get enough proteins to make just one dose of medicine for one patient. Now, you might be wondering, what happens when you donate plasma? Perfect timing. Isaac is a regular plasma donor. Hi, Anna. Hi, Isaac. Tell us what you remember most about the first time you donated plasma. I was kind of nervous. Why were you nervous? Well, I just didn't know what to expect, and I'm really not crazy about needles. But the staff made everything easy for me and answered all of my questions. So what keeps you coming back each time? I'm ecstatic that my plasma is turned into medicine that gives sick people healthier futures. I also learned that one donation is not enough to treat one patient. And once I knew that, I wanted to keep on helping. And I have been proudly donating for over 14 years. I'm a donor for life. Wow, Isaac, that's quite the commitment. We appreciate you and your passion for helping others. Come visit us later. Here's Joe, who works at one of our donor centers. Can you tell us how donors are evaluated? Well, the first time you donate plasma, and then once a year, You'll get a physical exam and a medical history. It's important to find out if it's safe for patients to receive medicines made from your plasma. Every time you visit us, you'll have a health screen, and we check your weight, blood pressure, pulse, temperature, and your anemia levels and protein levels to make sure you're healthy enough to donate. Keep in mind that most people don't have any problems donating at all, but if you do begin to feel dizzy, with nausea, or just not right, please let us know right away. To help make sure that you're prepared for donation and reduce the chance of side effects, drink plenty of water or juice the day before. Stay away from alcohol. Get a good night's rest. Eat a healthy meal. Don't smoke or chew tobacco an hour before donating. Now you probably didn't know this, but your body can replace the plasma you're donating within a day. And because your blood cells are returned to you, the FDA approved that you can donate plasma twice in a seven-day period. Thanks, Joe. That was really helpful. Oh, I have a text. Is it true that they ask about medicines, sexual history, drug use, vaccines, and travel history? Yes, we understand that many of the questions are quite private, but don't worry. The information you share is confidential. The staff is there to help, not judge. Also, if you have a reaction, your answers will help the staff take better care of you. Mm. Now, let me show you how we get the plasma. Everything that follows takes place in a comfortable bed, just like this one, with plasma phoresis machines, just like these. Look, here's Joe with Isaac, ready for his next donation. Do you mind if we watch? Heck no, I want people to see how simple it is. Donating plasma looks a lot like donating blood. We use disposable equipment, and after getting the sterile needle in your arm, the machine gets some blood out and separates the plasma from your red blood cells, acting like a strainer. After separation, your red blood cells are returned to your body through the exact same needle. This whole process takes just about 45 minutes or so. And you can pass the time by watching a movie, reading a book, or just talking with your neighbor. And it's crucial to know you have to make at least two donations so the plasma can be used for medicines. That's true. If you only donate today and don't return, that plasma can't be used to treat people. So it's vital that you come back and donate. Once you've donated at least twice, your plasma is made into medications for people like Gail and her kids. 
Hi, Gail. Thanks for talking with us today. I'm so glad to be here. Both my kids and I use plasma medicines. It's really humbling to think that our health depends upon the kindness of strangers. They're the reason I'm well enough to work and my kids are healthy enough to go to college. Although the words thank you just don't seem like enough to express how grateful we are, on behalf of patients everywhere, we thank you and hope you'll continue to donate. Each time you do, you're helping to save a life. Thanks, Gail. We're very grateful to all of our donors for giving the gift of life through plasma. We'd be proud for you to want to become one of our plasma donors. And if we find that donation isn't right for you, you can still help patients by talking to your friends about donating plasma. Thank you for your life-saving donation.